This video details important steps for correctly wiring communication control cables between each device within an Enphase Energy system. The following instrumentation cabling types have been tested and recommended by Enphase. These shielded cables are 0.5mm squared, multi-stranded conductors and are rated to 500 volts AC. Instrumentation cabling are a four conductor cable. The conductor colours will be colour coded either blue, white, blue, white or black, white, black, white. The cable is shielded and is described as a drain wire. This cable will also be wired between each of the devices. To connect the control cable, cut the segments of control wire long enough to route between each device. And remember to add enough extra cable to reach the control cable terminal blocks. Prepare each cable section and follow the recommended lengths when stripping this cable. Allow 76mm total length for the drain wire. Control wires 1, 2 and 3 will be a minimum of 38mm in length and stripped to 8mm. Wire 4 will not be required. Each device has two terminal header blocks. These terminals are numbered 1 to 4 for control cable wiring. You'll also notice that there is a resistor installed into one of the terminal blocks at every device. The control cable that you install will have a numbering printed to identify each of the cables. Refer to the numbering to maintain the correct wiring sequence for each header termination. Insert and secure the white wire onto the header terminal pin 1. Then take the next coloured wire into header terminal pin 2. Then white wire into header terminal pin 3. And as you're wiring a four conductor cable, you can choose to cut this last conductor flush or simply wire it into the fourth terminal. Plug the headers on each end into the header ports of each device. Also secure this cabling with cable ties for strain relief. The drain wire, or shield, on each control cable segment between devices must be wired to ground at one end or the other end. The drain wire on the trailing end can simply be trimmed off. And again, in each drain wire segment, the cable must only be connected to ground on one side and never on both sides. In the final step, we will learn how to terminate the endpoint resistors in the control cable system. Since the control cables in a system are wired in a daisy chain layout, each endpoint device must have a termination resistor installed. You will see this is pre-wired between pin 1 and pin 2 of the second wiring header. The header is installed on the open control cable ports at the endpoint of the device. There will always be a resistor installed at the first device and the end device within the wiring. The termination resistor will be removed for any device that is installed within the control cable system. The wiring sequence of the control cable is now complete. For more information and configuration examples, download the IQ System Controller 3 INT Quick Install Guide from the Enphase website.